Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today, I'm going to show you my top five favorite ways to get money fast in Farming Simulator 22. I use these methods when playing off screen for Let's Plays on screen for any other scenario that you can even think of to get my hands on some quick cash. All these methods utilize game mechanics to skew the odds in your favor a little bit. So let's go out there and find you some money. First is selling unused equipment and buildings. For example, on the American map, we've got all these buildings around here. and You may not want these here at all. It's actually really easy to get rid of these. All you gotta do is go into your landscaping function. And for example, if you don't want this silo here, just click demolish, boom. And there is an extra 58 grand right there. You can also get rid of this little building right here on the edge. Now, granted, you can't make any money from it, but you can get rid of it if you want to. You've also got all this stuff around here. There's a water point right here. You know what that? 1500 bucks just for that. Super, super easy. You can even delete the main farm uh, building right here if you really want to. Uh, this is going to get you an extra 50 grand, but I like it because it actually has a nice little place under it to go in. So uh, that's kind of usually the last one that I would sell. You can also sell this one, but it leaves a big pit in the ground. And you can also sell your house too, but it's really difficult to get this put back in place. So maybe just the silo for here. But on top of that, you've also got vehicles on here that you may not want. For example, you've got three tractors here. Maybe you don't want one of these. Maybe the Massey Ferguson. Sell it. You don't need to hang on to it if you don't want to. Header trailer here. Sell it. You don't need to have it if you don't want it. Even the pickup truck, I would recommend selling just to make a little bit extra cash. Plus, if you take it all the way over to the main uh, shop, you can get some extra money for that. Here's a prime example of why you would want to bring over your equipment to the shop to sell it versus selling it like I showed you a second ago. Well, if we come in here, we go to cars, we're going to get $20,799 for this. Not terrible, but if we bring it to the shop and sell it here, Look at that. We've got a little bit more. Boom. Make some extra cash. We've got it. $22,879. So we made an extra two grand just by taking the time to drive it over here. So definitely sell some buildings and sell some vehicles if you want to make a little bit extra cash. At number two on the list today is going to be field flipping or flipping the land. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through the process with you if you're not familiar with it. Let's say I want a field to harvest right now, one that I don't own and I don't want to deal with it. It's basically like doing a contract for yourself. For example, field 48 right here, it's right beside our main farm and it is wheat, so we can add that to the wheat that we've gotten off of field 45 and we could take the straw and sell it and make some bells. Well, all I gotta do is buy that. I got plenty of money for it and then come back out as soon as I've got that, you know, jump in any of my stuff and come over here and harvest. Let's say I've got that field harvested and it's all done, ready to go. Honking a little bit slow here. There it is. Once we're done harvesting this and we've gotten the wheat and we've put it in our silo or maybe we've taken it to the grain mill, which I highly recommend that you do, or you've taken your straw, sell it. <laughs> Just go back in and sell it again. The one thing to note here is that giants have nerfed this a lot from Farming Simulator 19, where it was a great way to make money. Unfortunately, now it's kind of to the point where if you go in and harvest this, it's going to take a year plus some for the AI to basically pick up on and be like, oh, that's an empty field. I should go ahead and take that because you have to kind of buy these from inanimate farmers, I guess would be the word for it. So just a heads up, if you do that, maybe go through afterwards and just plant something in there and you could just go ahead and field flip the next year as well. It's kind of like owning a bunch of fields that you don't have. Giants may have nerfed the process that we were used to in Farming Simulator 19, but in Farm Sim 22, it's actually controllable now, whereas before it was totally random. So harvest it, then plant whatever you want in it, and then sell the field back. You're ready to go for next year. At number three today, we've got leasing equipment. Equipment's very, very expensive. For example, if you wanted to go in and do some cotton work, and you want to use this piece of equipment, it's going to cost you $485,000. No one has that much money when they start off. Well, this, this is going to be easy because I can now lease this for 24 grand. Granted, that's probably a quarter of what most people have starting off, but still 
I can lease that. We've got our base cost there, which is $9,700. Working per day, so every day that you've got this is going to charge you an extra $4,850 plus extra working hours. So for every hour in game that you're using this, you've got $10,185 in costs. Uh, get your work done quickly, but it's a great way to do stuff. A lot of people as well may sell their combine harvester. For example, if I went into the owned items, I could sell this for $103,000 and I could sell the header for an extra twenty-four grand. It's $125,000 plus right there. Well, if I wanted to come through later on and harvest and maybe I want to get something done a little bit quicker, we do something bigger like the John Deere X9 right here. I can lease this for $28,000. Now, granted, that's more than we sold for every year. You know what I mean there, but you could do this if you wanted to. Leasing equipment is a great way to hang on to a lot of money at one go. Just make sure you're ready to utilize it all together. Otherwise, you're just wasting cash. Speaking of cash, cash is king. And if you go to your Paul's menu and you go to finances, a little money sign right here, you can actually take out a loan. You could borrow up to $500,000 on any of the map's base game at the starting point. Now, some maps, uh, for example, at Farby Simulator 19, some maps allowed you to take out more. Some mods allowed you to take out more. And this is a way to get money and get money fast is probably the fastest way to get money quickly. Now, I got $888,000 and I can go and I can buy that cotton harvester and I can buy that John Deere harvester. However, I'm going to have to pay that back eventually. So just a heads up there. This is good for maybe those of you that want a lot of equipment to start with, but you want to play more realistic. I don't play like that. I cheat in millions of dollars at a time. But if you wanted to do it that way, you can. And whenever you're ready, just pay back that loan. Like I said, you will incur interest every single day that you play. So be careful or that is going to be very difficult to pay back. And the last one, number five, my favorite by far is cheating in money. There's two ways that work really well on all platforms. And there's another way that works pretty well on PC. So first off, if I were you guys on consoles, I would definitely go in and download the government subsidy sign. You're gonna find that in productions and down here in generators. Right here, you can see we have the government subsidy. This one sign will give you, wait for it, $8.4 million a month spread out into hourly rates. You could go with something a little bit smaller, which I do recommend. I've got four of these on every gameplay series that I do. It makes it a little bit easier for you guys. Subsidized by local municipality, uh, this gives you Eight or eight thousand four hundred dollars per month in game. So if you're playing with one day months, well, maybe that's a little bit easier for you. All you gotta do is place them down. They're placeables, and then you fast forward time. For example, we'll fast forward a little bit of time here, and boom, we got money at the top of the hour. You could place this down with one minute to go and get it. It just gives you that money on the hour. Pretty sweet, but that's only one option. This is going to involve loading up your game into multiplayer. So once you're in multiplayer, once you got everything, you can probably look at the top and it says zero dollars. Well, we want to join my farm. So now we're in here, we've got our hundred thousand dollars. Here's the cool part. All you got to do is create a bunch of farms, create every single farm. And you can do this and new farmer works better in other ones, but at least with this one, you can have all of your uh, well, base items around. This is the easiest money cheat ever. All right, so once you've got that done, save your game and just exit out. Now, once you're back into the game, go back into career and you're gonna load up the game that you just got. Boom, just like so. And whenever you start off, it's gonna give you this area. It says, the farms from this multiplayer game have been merged into a single farm. After saving, this game will become a single player game permanently. You can totally ignore that because all that means is farm number one now has $800,000 as opposed to only having 100,000. And all you gotta do is go in, save the game, and then go back to multiplayer, and you can do this as many times as you want. This was something that we found for Farming Simulator 19, and we thought it was gonna get patched at first. Actually, I've already made a, an entire video showing off this single process, so if it's something you're interested in, check it out. And once we go in here, we can take a look. We don't have a loan, we got nothing to pay back, and we've got $800,000 free of charge to help start our farm. 
Oh yeah, now that's how you get money fast. So hopefully this video has helped you guys get a little bit of extra money. Maybe it is a more legitimate way. Maybe it is a more illegitimate way. Regardless of it, I hope it has helped you. If it did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the GoAmp fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well. If you do, subscribe so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'm always doing stuff, whether it's a Let's Play, live stream, news videos. We've also got mod reviews. Pretty much everything you can think of, you can find it right here. I'll be said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.